Welcome to the tutorial on using little bird tails. Here I am at the login screen. I'm logging in as a student today and students need to enter the school code. It's done over here on the right. To find out your school code you'll need to ask the person that initially created your school. If your school hasn't been created, you'll be able to do that when you select this is a teacher account. So I'll enter the school code and click go. And here we are at James's welcome screen. He can now go ahead and click create a new tail. The first time you create a tail, Adobe Flash Layer settings will come up. It wants access to your microphone, so click allow. Then click record settings and click remember. That way you won't need to do it again. Now close. There are three elements to each page in Little Bird Tales. There is the artwork, your voice, and text. Let's go ahead and add some artwork. Click on Draw, and the art pad opens. It works a bit like paint, so I can use these tools over on the left. Or I can upload. I'm going to upload. Choose your image and open. The image appears and I click Save. After you've clicked Save, you will need to close the art pad. And now I can add my voice. I click Record and record the title of my story. Now click stop. You can choose to play your recording and re-record it if you're not happy. If I scroll down, I can give my tail a title. And click save and continue. Let's add a page. Click draw. The art pad opens and we'll draw a picture. Click on the paintbrush and select your colour. Choose another colour. and you can fill it in as well. I'm sure you get the idea. Click Save and close the art pad. Add your voice. Click Record and record your tail. Click stop and then down here you can add your text. Scroll down and click save. Now you'll see your page up over here on the right hand side. The speaker tells me I have voice, the AA tells me I have text, this is my picture, and to edit it I can click on it. And there you have it. 
You can add another page by clicking Edit Pages. And you go through the process of again, uploading or drawing your picture, adding voice and text. If I scroll down to the bottom now and click Preview, a new window opens and the tail sets up. I can now click play to watch my little bird tail or I can go back to edit. If I scroll down again you'll see down the bottom here is where I get the embed code. There it is there. I can copy and paste that into my wiki or blog. If I now click on home and James wants to find his tail, click on my tails. And here's his tail. He can play it, edit it, purchase it, and get the embed code here. Well, I hope you enjoy using little bird tails. I look forward to seeing you on another tutorial.